Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do uh, a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me, Aquarius. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, how you come into the reading is the Eight of Pentacles. So some of you are just more so focused on making something work, going to the next level. You are the wheel. It's like you're continuously pounding away at something. As he pounds away at the Pentacles, you could just be doing something over and over. You're trying to grow it. This could be... Um, you, this could be an entrepreneurial endeavor. So it's like you have to do it over and over. Even when you don't see the greatest return or the greatest profit, it just says continuously uh, pound away at this so that you can get this thing to a place of autonomy um, where you can be kind of hands off. Uh, be prudent with your time, your resources, your money. Watch where it's going. Watch where you're putting your money or where you're spending it or what you're spending on. Some of you, you can see that you're doing something over and over again. Um, you're kind of on autopilot. You could be overworking or, you know, the workaholic right now. And you, you know that it's a temporary energy. Like you just, you just got to get it to a place where it is the will. You are, you know, right now you are the will. You want to get this thing to a place of where it just works and you can kind of be, look at your uh your body of work and say wow i did that but right now this is you having to work it you got to put so much time effort behind it also it says that some of you are maybe doing a lot to find love or you're giving chances over and over again to maybe a specific person or they're putting a lot of time or energy effort into love right now let's see let's talk about how you feel about love you get the temperance card so it's like um you kind of neutral taking the middle grounds like okay i could have love i can be in a relationship or not i can be married or not um i want to be or i don't want to be um but at the same time it's just like you're kind of neutral about this you've tempered your emotions in terms of relationships and marriage and love right now it's like you're really trying to focus on you your career make some get some money you're like you, you could be um applying over and over again i don't applying yourself or reaching out to a certain group or that i don't know you know a entity or somebody or a company you're doing something over and over again checking up on something this also could be other people's money like this isn't earned income this could be a tax refund this could be inheritance this could be a win a lottery win uh just some type of windfall that comes to you and this is like more so um you're trying to get this money you know and you're trying to keep your head down also in terms of waiting for it and if it's business and it's just like you're just really trying to get it to a place where there is an abundance of money right now you know it's it's the will it comes in and, and maybe you have to reinvest into yourself into your home into your business into your whatever it's just not at a place of surplus like you don't have a lot you know to where you could slow down you want to get there uh, and in this energy it says you will and maybe this is why you're not really focused on love with the temperance car you're not really like um, you know overzealous about love and needing to have it because some of you just focused on um, long-term goal achievement retirement having money stored up for you your family uh, for the long haul, for the long term, um, you know that right now you, you just got to be tired. You have to just work it, whatever it is, so that um, you can have your day or days of rest, of relaxation, knowing that your hard work is or has paid off with the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are very fo focused on your retirement plans. Uh, you have plans, you're thinking about something, you're being really directing all of your energy there. Some of you could marry well. You could marry into money also. 
This will be marriage later in life, marriage later in life, wealthy partnership, marriage, long-term, you know, stability, empire. Yeah. How a particular person that you could have on your mind or just surrounding the reading could be a love interest, how they are coming to the reading, the chariot. So they're more so focused on success, long-term goals, I mean, excuse me, short-term goals. Like, okay, I have to do this or do that. I have to move. I have to, I don't know, you know, just short-term goals. <clears throat> this is a very self-centered, self-focused energy. So they could be maybe not giving to love. And it's like you're neutral about it too. So maybe it, it works right now. And both of you could be kind of um, not too emotional about all of this going on because there's so much happening between the two of you. Uh, this person is just staying in control of their emotions and their thoughts right now and just trying to press forward, move forward. Let's clarify um, the temperance card for how Aquarius feels about love. All right. Yeah, four of cups. So it's kind of like maybe you feel like you missed the boat here or again like um some of you are not seeing the blessing that's before you because you're too busy looking at old or thinking about the old or thinking about another relationship or maybe i'm um, engaging with other people or um you're not seeing that something is a gift a gift from the heavens you're too focused in on you maybe even your emotions also um there, even, there could even be boredom or you could be discontent with your the option that is being presented to you it's like i don't want that i don't want that person i don't like that one more card to clarify your your emotions are also inward they're not outward you're not really open right now um let's see what's going on for aquarius yeah knight of cups so it's definitely somebody offering something here maybe you're just you're not seeing it, you're not focused uh, on that, especially with you coming up as the Eight of Pentacles coming into the reading. Um, it's just not an option. I heard for some of you, it's not an option, you don't want it. Maybe this person hurt you, maybe there was hurt in your past, maybe you're not over it. Maybe you just don't, you don't want this. It could be a particular Sagittarius, it could be anybody. Um, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe um, all you can offer this person is, you know, a platonic relationship we can be friends um you're guarded definitely guarded in love here too like you'll you'll offer your cup but you're guarded you're not sure and you're not sure if someone's intentions are they clear you know uh, it's not clear to you it's not pure you don't know if somebody's intentions intentions are pure and it's not clear to you. So it's kind of like you're guarded here. Let's see uh, how your person feels. They're coming with a lot of mental, like their mental uh, is really lit up. Like they're having a lot of thoughts and it could be about you. It could be about how uh, to move forward. This person is very self-centered. Let's see. Yeah, seven of swords. Uh, so they're like holding something back. Um, they could be deceptive. They could be trying to get away with something. They could be very tricky. Uh, again, we, we know that the, the chariot card is, um, you know, all about self-serving energy. Um, with the emperor showing up here. Your person could be the subject of gossip they're like I don't know your person could be kind of like just going around acting you may acting out or just they put on this this big charade what is this charade about a lot of masculine energy here this person could also be spying on you, looking back at you, asking around about you. What is this? What is this about? Yeah, the six of wands. I, I kind of felt it like they want your attention. They want to come towards you. They want to 
and not about the fact that maybe you've moved on or you've kind of promoted yourself or there is promotion within you. Maybe you're not looking at them like you used to. Yeah, they want to they want to change something. They want to your person wants to get the relationship out of the dumps, out of a place of where see they want your attention because you're ignoring them or you have been ignoring them. You have not acknowledged them and they feel left out, right? So they want your attention. Okay, they want to start something with you. They want to do something with you. They could want to have sex with you. They want to change this. You know, change the trajectory of the relationship. Maybe it was going into just a bad place. It was getting stuck there. The fives are temporary, so it's like you can change it. But um, they're waiting for the right timing or timing. I heard to pop the question. Yeah. Um... Somebody's obsessed with you. It could be a fire sign. You know, it's like, uh, or there's a level of obsession. You don't see it and you're kind of blocking it out. You don't want to see it. You're, you're, you're good. You're like, you don't. This is you, Aquarius. If I do engage in love, I've got my armor on. I'm guarded. You're not going to hurt me because I'm only going to give exactly what I want to give. Um, I'm kind of, I've been displeased, dissatisfied with my options or with love altogether. Therefore, I'm kind of, um, you know, neutral about this. You know, my, I don't, my meter doesn't go all the way up to a hundred, nor does it go all the way to zero. So it's just like, you're just neutral and you're focused on what you can control. Maybe your money, because you have been in a situation or you situationship or situation where people weren't fair or they needed to change and your person is coming with a lot of like self-serving energy yep you know just wanting you Let's see if this is somebody you're talking to presently, like in communication with. Is this person coming to, the, are they in communication? Yes, you're in communication with this person. The sun card, yeah, or they, or you will be. Look, get the knight of swords, like they're being very persuasive, but they're not giving it as much. It's like, cause things are still up in the air. They could even have somebody else. They're unsure about the reconciliation. They could not be ready to settle down with the Knight of Wands here. But they want to keep you. This is somebody from your past, but they want to keep you. They want to keep you in the loop. Look at that. There's a loop around those two pentacles. So this is somebody trying to grow something or grow two different relationships at the same time. The two of pentacles talks about doing something, you know, at the same time. And they can't give you or they just giving enough because they're giving to two different situations. Could be you, Aquarius, could be someone you're dealing with. Somebody's trying to be persuasive, very persuasive. Persuasive and then come with their fiery energy to maybe reconcile with you, just move on. Because they feel like you're getting away. You're the one that is getting away. And they feel like they need to say something that will stop you, halt you, or make you think. What is the advice for the Aquarius moving forward? Aquarius, you, you come out very good natured to this person. And who wants to lose something that's good, right? If you have a good job, if you have a good car, if you have a, a fairly decent, good home. Who wants to lose those things? No one. So it's the same if you have a good person. You don't want to lose that. Person. You don't want to lose it. And and um, that doesn't mean that you're going to take care of it or that person. You just don't want to lose it. Some people have nice cars or good cars. They don't. Maybe they never go get them washed or cleaned or they skimp on the oil changes and the maintenance. But they don't want to lose their good car. They just don't take care of it. And and that's the energy that maybe some of you could be in. Yeah. With you is safety, you know, they, they know what they're getting, you know, 
Maybe you give a lot of love. And some of you are just concerned about big money. Like I said, uh, other people's money. It, it's, it's big money coming to you here. Maybe someone even knows that. You could get some type of uh, communication next week. I'm bored. You could be bored in love. We saw that with the Four of Cups. Or, I don't know, you could be ghosting or they, they're ghosting or someone has not been there for you. Okay? You wanted someone to, you want an equal give and take. Both people giving. You know, in, in March, something could become very apparent, aware to you that you have been a doormat. You have not, you may be stuck to your guns or you, that this relationship is stuck and um, there's no growth. And maybe that somebody is unfair, but somebody is extremely obsessed with you, okay? They stare at your pictures for hours. Um, some of you may be even contemplating divorce or you've already divorced or you and someone are just going your separate ways. Some of you like to do like the, you like to fight and then make up, you know. Yeah, you like to fight and then make up, reconcile. <laughs> so, so either one of you, so you Aquarius, you may feel like somebody's resourceful. The other person feels like you're seductive, you're sexy. You know? So you like each other for two different reasons. It's like you're trying to save a marriage or a relationship, but you can't do it all alone because somebody is just all talk and no action. And right now you could be separated with weeks of no communication. Maybe you're waiting for a text message, you know, waiting. You need to get into, some of you just trying to get your finances healthy, get to a more healthy place and make healthy choices within the business of you. Maybe your birthday, you overspent or somebody showed you what they really were about. Yeah, somebody's straight up stalking you. So I feel like there's two different energies here. There's some, if somebody's obsessed with you staring at pictures, stalking you, that, that means they're not close to you. But then if there's somebody here who's trying to persuade you to stay, then um, they're, they're close to you. They have a relationship with you, but they know that you're getting away. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Let me know what you're doing to um, get this long-term wealth here, how you're saving. Share some of your tips down in the comment section with other Aquarius. Um, let's manifest collectively. Maybe some of us are overspending on things that we know we shouldn't be spending so much on, um, that we need to get our financial uh, life or house in order here um let's put some money down in the com in the comment section some money bags let's share advice what are you doing are you cutting out you know um, maybe eating out you're gonna start cooking in or you're gonna sometimes it's just the a situation of some people emotionally eat like if you eat and your body is not telling you that you're hungry, then you don't need to go and eat again. So it's like some of us are spending, overspending on food and, you know, little things like that because we're not dealing with emotional issues. So let's talk about it down in the comment section. Let's talk about what we're doing to be better. Share your story. Uh, share what you're doing uh, so that other Aquarius or anyone who comes to the reading can then... Um, you know, maybe take something from this. You know, you can help somebody else. Uh, imagine writing your story down there in the comment section and then reading someone else's story and it's almost similar. And that happens a lot. It's like to to uh, find out that maybe an Aquarius on the other side of the world is going through the same thing that you're going through. Um, I don't know, it offers you a bit of consolation, solace, I don't know. So, um, Aquarius, get your own personal reading. Catch me live tonight. I am typically live Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, but I'm going to be live tonight, Monday. I'm going to answer questions. I'm going to do a collective reading. Come, we're going to have a really good time. Um, but let's manifest too. Okay, so we're going to put money down in the comment section, put some money bags down there, and we're going to 
um, give some little tidbits of what we're doing to get to this place. Or if you're already at this place, give some tidbits of the people who are trying to get there. You know, what did you do? What did you cut out? What did you, how did you get here? You know, so um, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Thank you. Uh, I will see you live tonight and I'll talk to you soon.